Hey everyone, welcome to the first demo scene for the Spiders Pack PBR. Um, so we got different lighting setups here. You can see the spiders and sunset or light from directly in front of them. These point lights are more like what you might see in a cave setting. Uh, um, and these colored point lights are different colors so you can see how they reflect colored lighting spotlights directly down. So we'll stick with the daytime lighting. But uh, there's a lot we can do here. We'll zoom out, move the camera down, see them from different angles. You'll notice uh, we have a custom shader now for these furry, hairy things on two of the spiders. This is the spider egg down here. So let's actually look at the spider egg real quick. Uh, it's just a little thing that comes with it. Uh, it does have a transparency, so it's not going to be shown here. These are two different alternate textures. The eggs are separated into seven different groups and you can change each one independently. Um, they are uh, uh, transparent, but unfortunately uh, Unity doesn't really do a good job with um, the Z writing, so there's a, it doesn't really look as good as you might think. Inside each egg is a little larvae, so uh, I'm still going to be working on figuring out how to make that better, maybe with a custom shader or something to make that work right. Um, but for now, I would use it opaque. Uh, so let's keep this going. Um, let's see, so let's start with um, some animations this time rather than the other stuff because uh, one of the animations is this cast and I put up a collider here, there you go, so that it's actually hitting this, uh, this little wall uh, and exploding. There's two particles there and one of the particles happens on impact, on the collision. So um, I want to show that before we start moving, it's just a simple you know, web-like material. There you go. And uh, now let's look at some of the texture sets. So of course, all of the textures are completely customizable. The hair is, uh, the color is customizable and there's options for how thick it is and whatnot. Um, we don't get into that here, but this is the default look. I've got some alternate looks that uh, I've created for the demo that you can use if you'd like. Um, the the spider is a very organic character, so there is a lot of uh, Right, there's a lot of nuances um, with the different textures, so you you want to play with the settings. Um, I like this one the best right now. This is my personal favorite. The bands of red indicating danger or whatnot. Um, it's a very bright look, and this is sort of more insect-like space insect or something. I'm not sure. Um, so let's stick with this one because it's my favorite right now. Um, we also have the different body parts, you can turn the hair on and off, which is nice, especially if you're on mobile, just turn that off because uh, it won't, uh, really won't be visible too much on mobile. You can try it, uh, it might work on higher end devices, but um, it's definitely something to test. Um, let me go back to the front here and stop the rotation, there we go. So the mouth parts, uh, Chilicera, I think, Chilicera, I'm not sure exactly sure exactly how to pronounce that. You can turn that on and off. Uh, you can turn off the pedophiles. Now, pedophile B is only on the spider, what I've been calling spider queen over here. So there's little tiny pedophiles. There you go. So you can turn that off as well. Turn off the spikes. That's only found on uh, B and C or 2 and 3. This is the basic spider. Second one, third one. Turn those off. The stingers on the back of the abdomen, you can turn off, so they'd be right there, let's see them there, and the abdomen itself you can turn off. So now you've got different uh, creatures that are almost like, um, uh, almost like, uh, I don't know, space alien insects or something. Um, so it's definitely an option for anyone making like a sci-fi game. I think these would make pretty killer creatures, especially with the uh, different texture colors you can get out of it. Um, they're definitely scary, I think. I would love to see them in VR. So, you can do that with them. Um, and of course, the hair you don't want without the abdomen. So. Alright, now let's look at some of the animations. Alright, so this is the idol. We have walking forward, walking backward, 
Each one is animated uh, with its own animations that fit the uh, character itself. We have turning right and turning left animations. Alright, and then uh, now you can also add these together. Unfortunately, right now, while turning right and walking looks great, turning left and walking does not. So that's something that I'm going to be uh, fixing at some point in the future. Um, I think uh, the reason is that the the way the feet st uh, which foot starts for the turn needs to be adjusted. So I'm going to have a, another animator to make some adjustments to these animations. There's other small things that you probably don't really notice that uh, irk me, that bug me a little bit. So here's Idle Break. We've got two attack animations. A simple chomp or whatnot. And then this jump, and chomp, and jump back. Now we've seen the cast animation. Two deaths. One where he goes flat, one where he goes back on his back. You got his dodge animation, so if he just quickly jumps back a little bit. His actual jump back, which is a single jump back. And then a jump left and a jump right. And a taunt animation. And got hit. It's a very simple got hit. It's actually made from other animations. It's another thing that I want to uh, update in the future with uh, new animations and fixed up uh, animations, slightly fixed animations. So you probably won't notice the difference, but I do, and that matters to me. So, oh, I should say that uh, we will be adding, of course, blend shapes to these uh, mesh morphine. Each one will have its own options uh, for the mesh morphine. Um, and also, uh, uh, we'll be adding concept art and music and sound effects as well in the future. Uh, let me know what you think on the forums and have a great day, everybody.